Well, when I first came to Rochester in the uh, mid-70s as a young Eastman student, and uh, one of the first things that I noticed was this spectacular Midtown Mall, and I didn't have to go out to the burbs. I didn't. Uh, I could. I could do almost everything that I had to do downtown. It was fantastic. I'd take a class, go down to Midtown Mall, have a nice cappuccino before cappuccino even existed. There was a Cafe Grutadaria there that I just really loved. People were friendly. There was a Wegmans down there for crying out loud. Everything I needed as a young student was right there. Back then, it was a matter of that. It was a meeting place. People went there to shop. I mean, it was different, you know, uh, where everything was right there. Uh, you could walk around, find anything you want, major department stores, smaller shops. You know, Midtown was the place to go, especially at Christmas time with the kids. I remember there was a lot of construction workers still there. They had uh, some of these uh, heater units that were uh, allowing them to, uh, you know, work around the clock to finish up that and uh, just the bustle of people and you know people washing windows getting shops ready to open you know some shops that were still shuttered and, and waiting for uh, people to fill in uh, the Wegmans store being there just the fact that you could go up on the second level and check everything out or you could sit down in, in the atrium area and and uh, watch the crowds go by uh, there wasn't any other experience like that that I can remember and coming here to Rochester being uh, a new uh, citizen uh, of the area uh, was just, it, it kind of made me feel like, boy, this is a great place to be. It's a growing, thriving community. 